Welcome to a quick lesson on Adobe Illustrator. In this one we're going to make the Android logo. I'll go through the steps as quickly as I can and just so that you get the concept of it. First thing we need to do is draw this body. So we'll use the rounded rectangle tool and we'll draw his body. You'll notice that the actual body has got a straight edge along the top. So we needed to remove the top layer. Um, one way to do that is to use the rectangle tool and just put, put places in front like that. Then select them both and use the minus front option. And you'll see we've used on the Pathfinder tool the minus front option. We've now got a square body panel. Go back to the rectangle tool, rounded rectangle, and we'll put, put some arms into place. That's one. I'll copy that few times and then if I by copying it I make sure that I get the right size each time so now I've got arms and legs so I can put those into place one there one there you can spend a bit more time getting it all perfectly lined up I've deliberately left one leg longer than the other so all I need to do is select them both use the alignment tool line along the top and you'll see that they both lined in. So now I'll select it all, Pathfinder tool, and I'm going to unite the options. So unite it and it's now one fixed shape. Then the next thing to do I suppose is put his arms into place. Again I can just move that in a little bit. I can select it all, use the alignment tool, align along the top just to make sure that they line up. And there we've got the main part of his body. I suppose the next thing we need to do is make his head. So I can do the circle and I just draw just a rough circle. And then I need to use the square. And by drawing a square, just below the halfway point, I can make that. I can I can cut the square in half. Then I'll make it a slightly bigger. But just just keep going until you're happy, really, with the shape you've got. And now I can use the Pathfinder tool to cut away one half of it. So I've used the. Um, the Pathfinder tool minus the front option and I'll cut it into half. Sometimes depending which way around you've done things you may need to play around with these options. If I go edit and undo and I click the wrong one I've united them that time. Edit undo um, and I've removed it so it doesn't really matter as long as you just edit undo and keep going until you get the right shape really. Okay so now I've got his, his head created I've got, I've got you saw you notice I've got the the line showing up to help me where where I've lined him up. Um, but it's a bit too big, so again using that line now I know I've got it at the right size. So there's his head, but we need to put two eyes in. So we'll use the ellipse the ellipse, the ellipse tool and we'll draw two eyes. There's one. I'll copy that so I know I've got the next one the right size. Okay, we've got two eyes. I'll change the color on them both. I'll I'll change them to yellow, just so that when I when I move them into position on our Android logo, we know where they where they are. So that'll do. We'll put we'll put those two to place. I'll move it down a little bit. That's probably too much. So put his eyes into place, select it, and then I can use the exclude option. When I click the exclude option, it'll it'll remove it'll change the whole thing yellow, but remove remove the eyes. So it's now removed the eyes. I've got the two holes there. I can change that back to green. Now we've got his head in place. The last thing we need is his antennae. So to do that, 
it's quite easy. We'll use the rectangle, rounded rectangle tool again, and I'll draw an antenna. That's probably big enough, and I'll rotate it. I'm happy with that. I'll copy that. But this time, I want to make sure I get the same number of degrees tilt. So I'll right click and I will ref use the transform tool, I'll reflect. I want to, want to flip it the other way. So I click OK. And now I've got the antenna flipped in the direction I want them to go. So all I need to do now is pop them into place. And use the alignment tool to make sure they're lined up. That one probably could come in a little bit. Once they're lined up and I'm happy with it, I can then unite them all together. Pathfinder Unite. So now I can just move this head into place. And you noticed I had, I had the center point as well. And that's pretty much the Android logo created. There are things you can do then. For example, you can select the whole thing and you could you can go to in your top bar, it's not quite showing up, but you can go to effects and 3D extrude and bevel. And when you've got this tool, you can you can change it so so I've straightened it all up, but I've dropped got five degrees tilt forward, click OK. And you'll notice that it, it's, put in a, it's put a sort of a 3D effect in, if you like. And that's pretty much how you create your own Android logo. Hope you found that useful. Thank you very much.